Hey guys, this is Versatile from Game Dexterity. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to burn an ISO version or a disk image of ULaunch ELF. And this video is for those PS2 enthusiasts that want to use the ULaunch ELF program on their PS2 so they can access their memory card, USB thumb drives, um, internal hard drives, and the like. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please watch my other PS2 video tutorials and get yourself up to speed. So what I'm going to use in today's tutorial is ImageBurn, which is a freeware program. Go to imageburn.com, go to download, get the latest version from the mirrors, download and install it, and life is good. Now go to SKS apps.com go to ps2 apps and launchers and get what you're looking for so some people are having issues um, well first of all they need to install it somehow right and the easiest way is to install it from a CD or a DVD if you want a CD version get the version 4.40 CD if your PS2 can only read DVDs then you get the 4.37 DVDs and then to boot these you can use a mod chip or you can use swap magic or you can use some other third-party option it's up to you how you want to do it so it's a .zip file, just extracted, and I already did that, and I get into this temporary folder here. Now notice that there's three different files in here. There's a bin, there's a queue, and then there's an ISO file. I don't know why they did that. I think they just gave the user the flexibility of burning um, two different types of options. You can use the queue and bin file method, or you can use the ISO method. Now, granted, I already have it mounted, so this is how you know if you burnt something successfully. You have a boot.elf, dummy.bin, and system.cnf. This is the same files you get it when you either burn the ISO file or when you bin the q/bin file. So how do you do this, right? So if I go back into my folder here and I go back to ulaunch elf, and I'm using image burn. So what I could do is I could right-click on this guy, the ISO, and say burn using image burn. Or I could right click on the Q file and say burn using image burn. Or if you really want to, you could, and if you fail, you can right click on the bin and say burn using image burn. Image burn is really smart, and if you try to burn the, the bin file, it'll say please direct yourself to the Q file. If you don't have the Q file, it's really smart to burn the bin file regardless. So let's burn the ISO file. So right click, burn using image burn. And for just example purposes, I have a blank CDRW. I suggest you use the CDR because that's what you're supposed to use. I'm using the version 4.40 CD. And if you're burning with a CD, CDR, make sure you burn at half the max speed of the full speed. So for example, if your max speed of the disk is 48x, burn at 24x. So I'm using a really, really old CDR because that's what I found. And I just put the right speeds for, well, let's put it in max. Actually, let's put a 4 because you have to manually tweak this. But in your example, you had a, let's say you had a 48x, you want to use like a 24x right speed, okay? If you burn too fast or burn too slow, it will screw you over. I've done this many times. Just take my word for it. And then all you gotta do is literally just click on this button here, the burn button, and it starts to burn. And once it's done, then follow the rest of my tutorials or whatever tutorial you want to use in order to launch it on your PS2. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye. <laughs>